Hello. Today we'll be controlling a stepper motor using only an Arduino and no other drivers. The first step is to find a stepper motor which you'll often find in DVD or CD drives. Then we want to take the machine in question apart and extract only the component which controls the position of the laser reader. In the end this motor ended up having only two wires instead of four or six, meaning it was just a standard DC motor instead of a stepper motor. But you can still see here the kind of motion that it is expected to command within the DVD or CD drive. I then went through multiple other devices, which for some reason all had DC motors instead of stepper motors, which is strange because in the past I've always found stepper motors instead of DC motors. Oh, come on. I ended up finding one in the scanner of a printer I had taken apart previously. As I mentioned before, stepper motors tend to come with four or six wires. These control the magnetic state of two separate coils. For a functioning four-wire stepper motor, you'd expect a small resistance between two pairs and then an infinite impedance between any other combination. For the purposes of the code that I've written for this, I've connected one coil to the pins 13 and 12 and the other coil to 11 and 10. And here we have the code. All it does is run the motor in one direction and then run it back and then loop that. By changing the variable delay time, you change the duration between steps in the motor. In other words, the higher this is, the slower the motor will go. Make sure this value isn't too low though, otherwise the motor will get stuck. The variable distance just sets the number of steps the motor takes. In other words, the more steps, the further the distance. Obviously there is a limitation with this method, as if a motor becomes too large then the power output of an Arduino won't be able to make it move. But if you're just tinkering around with small motors like I usually am, this is a great way to test them. Hopefully you found this video useful. Maybe you'll find some of my others useful and or interesting. Goodbye. Okay,